If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that recently I took a trip to the beautiful islands of Hawaii. Our first stop is the big island, which is the Kailua Kona. Kona Island is also referred as the Big Island because it is really big. It is the biggest island in Hawaii. How big is it? It's about 60% of the overall Hawaii state, which means that it is actually bigger than all of the other islands combined. In today's vlog, we're going to the beautiful Kiholo Bay. And in this beautiful bay area, there is crystal clear water with lava rock and dark sand beach. Sounds like a dream. And also show you some of the restaurants and food and some of the leisure activities we did on that big island. So first of all, Big Island is very big. So highly recommend that you rent a car because it's very hard to go around without a car because it takes a long time to travel across the islands, especially if you want to visit the Volcano National Park. Another thing about the Big Island is that it's actually very important where you stay because there's a lot of nature on the Big Island. Only certain area has tourist activities. So I highly recommend the areas where you kind of stay close from the airport. So we kind of stayed about 15 to 20 minutes from the airport. There are several resorts and hotels in this area. And there are a lot of shopping centers and great restaurants. And of course, this is a beautiful Bay Area where you can see the sunset. All right, are you ready? Let's get into today's video. Actually, we're outdoors. We're here at Kona. It's our first Coconut day. Coconut Road Marketplace. Coconut? Coconut? Coconut Road Marketplace. I like coconut. Okay, so basically we're staying by this hotel around the shore. It's actually really pretty if you guys can see. And there's a bunch of restaurants and shops, acai bowls, and everything. So this area is really like for business and souvenirs and stuff. So yeah, and there's like the wow, I think four days a week ago. Let's explore. We're trying to look for a food place because we're all very, very hungry after the long plane ride. We were trying to eat at this place, but it's all packed. So there's no table. We didn't have a reservation. So no, we don't have the table. Let's go. They definitely have some interesting plants that I've never seen in Texas. Honestly, there are not a lot of people in Kona and a lot of nature. So when you choose the hotel, make sure you choose an area where you can have access to restaurants and shop and of course, the most famous Kona coffee. Yeah, Kona coffee is actually one of the best souvenir you can get for your family and friends. And let me tell you, my co-workers are loving it. And this Bay Area is also really great for sunset and it's very important to make reservations at the restaurant at least several days before you go because it's really packed guys this is crazy like this is actually lava rock right here and then this is just like normal building like our hotel and then this is lava shore and then that's the water that's like a little bit crazy When we first landed, I was so shocked about the landscape in Kona because I didn't know that the lava rocks are actually everywhere and it's just such a new thing to me. And, and there's so many different exotic plants and birds on this island. This is lime tree. I've actually never seen lime tree. And then this may be mango. It does look like one of those like tropical fruit trees since the leaves are like that. 
actually really pretty. So basically, since this is like one of the hotter tourist season, there's so many tourists right now, right here. So with those restaurants, like sit down restaurants, you kind of have to make a reservation a few days earlier. But when you travel, it's kind of hard to plan those things because you don't know if you're going to make the time. So yeah, definitely have that in mind when you plan your trip to Kona. All right, we did not have any reservations at any restaurants. So some restaurants are fully full. They don't take any walk-ins. But we're lucky that Lava Java actually took us in. Yay, we got a huge table. And one thing you'll have to try is the Mai Tai drink. And of course, I'm allergic to alcohol. But hey, it tastes really, really good. Just avoid the top part because I think that is wrong. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this because I don't know how to drink. But the food here is absolutely Absolutely amazing highly recommend to have any poke bowls because the fish are very 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 fresh and also ribs and other food but I just have to be honest the fish taco that my husband ordered wasn't the best it was some sort of white fish and it was overcooked but if you can have a ahi tuna fish taco that will be the best but the other foods are super good and very very fresh Another thing that I observed was that Hawaiians put pineapples literally on everything such as these ribs But hey, it tastes really good Instead of honey, it's pineapple Or maybe pineapple honey And also there's a lot of goat cheese on my salad and everything I wasn't sure why But then I did notice that there are actually a lot of goat on the island Maybe that's why, maybe not But hey, the salad was so delicious Oh, this is really cool, safe way. I want to say things are pretty expensive here. Yeah. Except for cherries. Cherries is actually the same price. Versus like bananas is like twice as much as like regular grocery store like in Texas. So yeah, we got our groceries and tomorrow I'm excited. Hey guys, we're back from the grocery store. Apparently in Hawaii, they have a Walmart and they also have Safeway, which is pretty cool. Originally we were like, well, we don't know the local grocery store. You know, sometimes they have Kroger's, H-E-B, Safeway. Hey, it's Safeway. But the food are definitely way more expensive in Hawaii compared to Texas. Like granted that Texas is one of those low limit expenses state because like we're way cheaper than Boston, California, all those places. So <laughs> the bananas in Texas are like 48 cents per pound but here it's like a, a dollar and 39 which is like almost three times and we got oh this is interesting actually I've never seen this so tomorrow we're gonna try this out. This is the Coca-Cola coffee. Hey, wait this is Coca-Cola with coffee. Interesting. This is a great Coca-Cola taste blended with rich, luxurious coffee. So tomorrow I'm going to drink this. Like this is like a new concept. Like this is also the vanilla flavor. I've never had this. So we bought it. We also got some Starbucks coffee. Some trail mix. Tomorrow we're going to have a beach day. And then we're going to go on the mountain. for that little bag. Uh, actually, this is like, I want to say it's. $5.99 but like $10 for two or something. If you buy two, you get it cheaper and then we also got some sparkling water, yeah. But definitely things are like twice as much. This is the best thing. Okay, so are you gonna try it now? No. <laughs> we actually bought some, how do you pronounce this? Lilikoi. Lilikoi. So we got some Lilikoi right here. Apparently, I've never been to Hawaii, but according I to Brandon, cool. Lilikoi is like the local fruit and it tastes very special. So, Super good. so I'm excited. But like, I want to actually try the fruit. I don't want to just like drink the juice. Like the juice is probably like not a hundred percent. I want to actually try the fruit. Yeah. So we're going to go out. We're going to try to like explore this town a little bit more because tomorrow we're gonna be back super late because we're gonna go up to the mountains to see the stars i'm gonna take you guys with me all right ready i'm gonna charge this battery in this camera and let's go live music at night 
tropical. Oh, are we going to shake times? Another thing you'll have to try in Hawaii is shave ice. Yes, it's not shaved ice, it's shave ice. I don't know the difference, but it tastes really lava good. Lava flow? Lava Wait, where's the lava? Oh, I don't know. But these are the, the flow. lava bubbles. Okay. That's a straw for drinking. Well, you can guess which one is a little. It kind of tastes like passion fruit. I think that's a little coy. It's the. I'm gonna eat the mochi since I love it. Oh uh, yeah. So, Dad, do you like this better or worse than the Houston version? Consistency of the, the texture, other one. The texture of the other one. The yeah. Shaved ice. Well, I like that other one. Because this is just shave ice, not shaved ice. This so is maybe really that's ice why ice. the texture is different. Because it's not shaved, it's just shaved. Shaved ice. Right. Well, that's I, I, I read the sign. Shaved ice. But it's still shaved ice. guys it's the second day it's currently 6 46 uh because we've been awake since 2 3 4 o'clock because of the time difference so we're gonna go grab some breakfast breakfast tacos hopefully it's good i felt like it's hard to beat the texas breakfast tacos since we're the best in terms of tacos like no joke okay it's actually really pretty. Morning golden hours, but I already took all the pictures. Yeah, and today we're gonna go have a beach day, so I have my uh, bikini on already. Yeah, so we're gonna go to a place, we're gonna hike for a mile and a half and then go to the beach. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna go look at the constel constellations. Let's go. Oh, you can rent a bike. One day is only for $10. If you want to do a bike tour, a day is only $10. One way is $3.50. Huh. Nice. Okay, they didn't wait for me for the cross, so I'm just gonna go by myself, I guess. The best breakfast in Kona? Here? Okay, if you want to play volleyball, it's available. It's so quiet in the morning. Are they open yet? They're not open yet. Oh, this flower actually smells really good. We're just amazed by all of the local plants. So apparently on your phone, you can download an app called Seek by Naturalist, iNaturalist. So basically you can scan a plant or an animal and it will tell you what type of plant it is. And that's actually pretty cool. I learned that this trip. So. Look, you could play. You could play with the beanbag things. Look, you can get your action shot. That was like so bad. Okay, I can throw it back. You guys didn't make it. Oh! 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 I done made it. I guess Brandon have to pay. Oh! It looks a lot easier on TV when they do it. Man, y'all don't even get close. What's wrong with y'all? Man, y'all are bad. Y'all are just beating people. Right, I can't even freaking land it on the board. Another thing about Kona is almost everything opens pretty late and closes pretty early because this is an island that's like super chill and you kind of have to wait for breakfast in the morning in the coffee shop to open. I know, but I think it's also because I had a jet lag and it's pretty late in Texas time, but we got into the breakfast place and I'm so excited to try some Hawaii breakfast. Well, especially the Moko Loco. 
Thank you. Oh, no, this is not for you guys. This. Loco Moco. Interesting. So it's a rice with gravy with egg. And, and meat. And what did you get? A oh, bagel with? Eggs Benedict. I like how you just took the, uh, the fruit bowl well, and she put it down on the thing. I don't this know. is not for you guys. Right. You put it down. Well, we didn't. Well, she's just taking everyone's food, I guess. Yeah. We'll have to see if this actually. Actually, good. that burger looks pretty good. I knew it looks good. It doesn't have anything on it. Like. Well, it doesn't look that special, yeah, honestly. Good. Yeah, I will try this one though. What you call it? Loco Moco. Loco Moco? Is this famous? Yeah. See, there's a hamburger patty, um, gravy rice. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I don't know if it's Christian Drift. It's a hamburger. You know, that, that looks like a hamburger patty, though, that you buy from H-E-B. It's like an Egg McMuffin, sausage Egg McMuffin. Okay, Moco Loco. Okay, Loco Moco. How do you say it again? Moco Loco. Moco Loco. Actually, it's pretty good. So instead of burgers, you're eating rice, basically. Oh, I don't know. I just know these taste good. Alright guys, breakfast was phenomenal and you know, I learned something about Moco Loco. Apparently this food it was created when there were a lot of like truck drivers, bus drivers, they came and then they stopped at a restaurant they're like, we don't have a lot of money, can you make something for us that fills us up so we can, you know, go for a long drive. And that's how the food was created. I love that little story. So yeah, now we're gonna pack up, we're gonna go hiking a little bit, and yeah. Alright guys, we're here at the Kaholo Bay. We'll put the link down below. First of all, the parking here, there are only like maybe five spots. So if you're coming, make sure you come super early in the morning. And there's definitely a hike over here. So you need to actually hike up. Um, it's like 30 feet elevation. So it's not like a real, real hike, but you actually have to walk to the beach. So I got my noodles, I got my beach towels. And yeah, so this is like not like a, one of those places where has like cabana or anything it's just like in the wilderness so it's just like some parking spot so it's a parking spot by the road and let's go start the hike yeah so basically you just walk down over there right here yeah be careful with my noodles oh there's a, actually a sign that tells you like follow this trail interesting so there's not like a trail head or anything it's just that random parking lot and you find the path and then you get to the trail that's interesting but yeah i'm excited the water here is like super super blue and this is definitely highly recommended i'll put the website down below if you guys are interested The camera while we're going. <laughs> my my noodle, my noodle. Oh, okay, okay. I wish I could but it seems I'm just out of luck. Be tricky because it's kind of rocky and sandy at the same time lava so, rock. yeah it's lava rock but be careful don't slip because this guy almost slipped and twisted his ankle because she makes me film her no, no like 
All I told you, all I did tell you is for you to hold a camera yeah, just when you walk. Camera, I have to actually be looking at what I'm supposed to be filming. Like, so YouTuber life is not that easy, guys. Like, when I show you guys things, like when I hike and then show you the landscape, it's a little bit hard since I have to balance myself at the same time trying not to drop my camera and trying to talk to the camera and trying to be aware of the surroundings and trying to follow the path and trying not to trip and trying to hold all of my stuff it's definitely not easy but hey give this video a thumbs up it's all worth it right we need a thumbs up for that thumbs up thumbs up and follow me for more videos here we heard it but like I can't see him but he I'm excited like there's like nobody here <gasps> maybe some tourists but this is not one of those like popular tour site with like a lot of people there's like nobody here oh my gosh this is like super special because these are like kind of like dark sand lava sand and somebody made this. <gasps> this is probably like to tell you, hey, this is the exit. Don't get lost. But <laughs> this is pretty cool. Whoa. Kiholo Bay is a protected series of calm and turquoise tide pools. It's a great place to spend a beach day, especially if you want to be away from the crowd. Yes, there are not a lot of people here because you actually have to hike. So you park on this roadside and you hike all the way down there. So I heard that this used to be a bit of like love to death by tourists, but the conservation efforts have really improved the location over the past few years, such as prohibiting driving on the beach, which helps a lot to preserve the ecosystem here. The water in the bay often appears to turquoise as a result of the mix of fresh water and seawater. It is one of the very special places and one of the places to view the sea turtles. The hike is about 3 miles round trip. It's actually 2.8 miles. It's not bad at all. And it's pretty flat after you go down there from the little bit of like elevation of 30 feet. Well, only 30 feet. So once you hike down, you can just walk flat. So here, there is a black sand beach with a flooded lava tube. It's incredible brackish tide pool that was once an Asian fish pond. So this area is definitely really, really nice. But when you go, make sure that you protect the environment and stay away from the sea turtles to protect the ecosystem. Keep saying I'm okay, I'm okay Telling him I'm okay, I'm okay Even though my sky Guys, this is amazing! Listen to this! The sound of waves! And also I lost where the family is, but that's all okay! We know where the car is, that's all that matters. Okay! Ah, we're kind of sort of made it, but we still need to go that way, I think, for some reason. But it's way easier to walk. Ah! It's just like the slope is too steep. I can't climb up. Even that ah, you're, you're leaving me. You're leaving me. What's wrong with you? Well, what happened? Okay, hey guys, here's the lagoon area right here. And here comes Brandon. Here comes me, struggling, still struggling. There we go. Here comes the ocean. Yay. Guys, look at this. But remember, according to the law, you're not supposed to take any rocks or sand. Um, please do not steal any nature stuff from Hawaii. It belongs to the island. It's against the law. And also, 
there also is a curse. If you steal any natural rocks or sand from Hawaii, then you will be cursed by the goddess of Hawaii. I'll put the reference down below. Regardless if you believe in those things, I just want to tell you, don't take anything. Oh, here's the bay. Here we go. Telling them I'm okay, I'm okay. Even though my scare is running down. down this is way. really hard. Really oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. We found the sea turtles. This is super exciting, guys. Can I see it? Sea turtles is my favorite animal. Look at this. Since we went super early in the morning, the water is actually really, really cold. And also be careful when you walk down because the water was shallow for a long time until it got deep. But when it was shallow, there's quite a bit of lava underneath and the lava was the ah ah type of lava, which is very sharp. So it actually cut my sister-in-law's foot. So be careful when you walk down. Another thing is that since there are not a lot of people here, it's very recommended if you want to swim far like I love to. You kind of sort of need some sort of like safety measure so for example i put a noodle underneath myself so when i get tired in the middle of the ocean it was actually okay so you don't necessarily need a noodle you could get any flotation things but just be safe because i actually don't know how deep the water is and the water is actually not clear because it's a combination of fresh water and seawater and there's quite a bit of sand and lava underneath so i couldn't see really really far down the water so be careful and take care of yourself and be safe There is a huge school of fish, but they're kind of small. I also saw some big ones, but I felt like the water wasn't clear, so I couldn't capture it with my camera. But I did see them, but I can only see them once in a while since I have to breathe, since I don't have the professional snorkeling device. Okay, I'm not the best prepared, but I did have a swimming goggle, which helps a lot. So it's really, really cute. And we also saw a sea turtle. Well, I saw one and then there was another one in the water and everyone saw it and I couldn't. And people are like, it's right in front of you. But it's really hard to see the sea turtle since the water wasn't clear and the sea turtles kind of just blend in with the rock. But overall, it's a really cool snorkeling experience what the hell am I crying for? keep saying I'm okay I'm okay telling them I'm okay I'm okay even though my is running down down my face. Overall, this is a great experience. I wish I could have swim for longer, but the water was definitely cold since we went in the morning. So if you care about that, maybe go in the afternoon, but I'm pretty sure there are more people there in the afternoon. And the parking, there are not a lot of slots. So if you do go, I do recommend you go early in the morning. Maybe like the hike is actually cooler in the morning. I really enjoy the temperature in Hawaii. I know some people, they're like, oh, it's kind of hot, but we live in San Antonio, Texas. Not Nothing is hotter than that. Well, except for somewhere even more southern. Overall, it's a very cool experience. I encountered at least one sea turtle. I know that I'm not disturbing the sea turtles. And also, I love the fact that it's my first experience with Black Sand Beach. It's a little bit different from the white sand because I felt like it's a little bit rougher, just letting you know. Another thing is, if you do go swimming, make sure you go in groups or have some flotation device because uh, there are not a lot of people there. I think 
Overall, when we were there, there are like a total of twenty people. So if anything happens, nobody will notice. So make sure you take care of yourself. I know I look like a dumb kid with a huge yellow noodle, but hey, I gotta take care of my safety because nobody in my group are proficient in swimming. So I gotta make sure that I'm safe and sound. And make sure you bring a lot of water with you because after you swim, you do need to hike back. And even after you hit the beach, there's quite a few like area like where you actually have to walk through. Make sure you wear hiking shoes because like there's definitely some rough area. It's really really hard with sandals. Do take care and protect yourself because the lava there. Okay, there are two main types of lava. The first type is pahoy hoy, which is the smooth ones. But the ones that's the most consistent. Learning is called ah ah because hey, when you step on it, it actually cuts your foot. So make sure you protect yourself from that and take a lot of photos. Enjoy the beach and water and yeah. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. This is only the part one of the Hawaii travel vlog. There's also part two, part three, part four. The next one will be our tour to the world's tallest mountain, Mauna Kea. So stay tuned for that. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. It really takes a lot of effort to film this footage during traveling, so it will really help us out. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.